Hi guys, today I wanted to, to talk to you about uh, hysteresis comparators and uh, comparators in general. So let's start with um, a bit of theory. Let me take uh, um, a triangle and rotate it. Uh, okay, this is not what I wanted, uh, by the way. So let me just draw a comparator. Now, as you know, whenever you have a, a comparator, you, let's suppose that we have the input voltage on the plus, let's suppose that we have V plus here and V minus there. We have, uh, uh, let's suppose that the ground, because it is easier. Uh, the equation to remember is just that when Vd is greater than zero, then you have uh, V out equal to V equal to V, um, v plus. And when Vd is less than zero, then you have that uh, view is, is equal to V minus. You can even have the contrary, so VI on the minus and here to zero. If you make the equation here, you will discover that uh, when VD is greater than zero, then remember that VD is this voltage here, so it is, so it is uh, vi minus zero so in this condition when vd is greater than zero is basically saying vi greater than zero now if you invert these two if you invert the input here when vd is greater than zero you have v plus minus uh, v minus which is equal to zero minus vi so you have vi minus vi greater than zero and so as you can imagine if you have minus vi greater than zero this this condition becomes vi less than zero so the characteristics is going to be the opposite now you have here the characteristic which ideally is something which ideally is something like this But in reality, it's going to be something like this instead. And here, of course, the opposite. Now, as you can imagine, we have to simulate this on a lattice spice. And let's see why this solution can work sometimes, but it can't work in real cases. So let me just open the op-amp. Let me just open the op-amp, let's choose the universal op-amp 2, and uh, let's have two different voltages. This will be equal to V+, plus, and this will be equal to uh, V-. minus. This is uh, 10 volts, and this is uh, minus 10 volts. Now, uh, let me just use the label V plus and the label here V minus. So let me put uh, let me put uh, the signal here. Let's just use a sign with an amplitude of one volt and uh, one kilohertz as a frequency. And let me put uh, a threshold of 10 millivolt so now you expect uh, here that you have a sign and the threshold is gonna be 10 millivolts uh, sorry this is horrible so you have a you have a sign like this and the threshold let me put in green is 10 millivolt and whenever the sign, so whenever VI, the red signal, is higher than the green signal, VT, you're gonna have a positive voltage, V+. Exactly like this. 
And for the minus, you expect, and when it is down, you expect the same. So something like this. So basically what you expect is a square waveform between 10 volt and minus 10 volt. Let's see if this is true. Let's call this node output voltage and let's run the simulation for 10 milliseconds. This is the sign, this is the threshold and this is the square wave. Whoa. What is this? Uh, v plus, V minus, let me check everything. 10 millivolts. One zero. What the? Um, let me choose. Uh, ah, sorry, I chose an, an universal op amp one. You have to choose universal op amp two. Okay, uh, sorry, sorry for that. Uh, now it is working. So as you uh, so as you can see, uh, let me just use as, as a comment. Uh, uh, choose universal op amp 2 uh, because if you choose an universal op amp 1 you have to select a uh, uh, precise op amp so choose universal op amp 2 so as you can see it worked as we intended we have uh, the, the sign and uh, whenever the signal is uh, up so let, let me put uh, let me put again I multiply this by, by 10 Okay, and I multiply also this by 10. This is just a gain, so don't be... So whenever the, the sign is higher than the, the input voltage, you see that the green, you see that the output voltage, so when the red input is higher than the blue, it will, it will trigger, it will be triggered. But is this true? So it is gonna work always like that? The answer is no, and I will show you why. So. Let me just add a noise source. Let's use BV. So let me, let's add the effect of the noise just by adding the white function, which is a white random noise. Uh, now, I don't want to design a, an adder. Let me just uh, add the adder with uh, an ideal adder. So this is just, uh, as you can see, V1 plus V2 just an ideal adder, okay, to show you the effect of the noise. Mm. Let me run the simulation. So as an input voltage we have uh, the, the sign and we have a noise source. If we add this to signal, we're gonna have this noisy sign way from here. So what's going on when, so what we going What's going to happen when you put this into a comparator? Well, you have this, and the threshold is this. As you can imagine, you have a very noisy square waveform, which is something that you don't want. So this effect here can be, if you use this kind of uh, uh, duty cycle triggering, so imagine that in a DC-DC converter, as you know, in a DC-DC converter, you have uh, a triangular square waveform and you have a threshold and from that you generate the square waveform if you have a noisy square a noisy um, a noisy triangular waveform this can happen this can happen and uh, it is something that you don't want because uh, it is something that you don't want as a square waveform because it is very noisy and uh, it can be really a problem so how, how can you solve this problem you can solve this problem by selecting a, um, a hysteresis threshold. Because if you zoom in the noisy part, you see that uh, all into the noise, the input signal is going up and down to the threshold. So you don't want that. You want uh, to design a, um, a threshold, an hysteresis. So how can you do that? I will show you a very simple circuit a very simple configuration and it is basically always the same pump uh, let me put uh, the plus here and the minus here so we have the input v in and you have the hysteresis 
with uh, R1 and R2. And here you have the reference voltage, which, by the way, can be also uh, partitioned or even designed with other resistor, as you prefer. These are not mandatory, by the way. So, if the previous characteristic was like that, now the characteristic becomes something very peculiar. When you start from the when you start from the negative voltage, the output voltage will be triggered at this threshold here, which we call the VT1. When you start instead from the positive voltage, it will be triggered to the other threshold called VT2. So how can you... Uh, so what is the physical meaning of this? The physical meaning can be interpreted like this. You have two threshold and this is... Uh, and this is the input voltage. The noisy input voltage. It, it will basically keep the, the, the op-amp stable from this until it will hit again this threshold here. So it will be triggered here and goes down only here. So it's basically having just one middle threshold at the end of the day. Let me design this on LT Spice. By the way, there are always tools to do this. So let me design this on the spice. Let me open an another draft because I want to keep this. Let's leave this. And let me put uh, an Isaiasis network with R1, R2. 1 kilo, 2 kilo, and uh, let me study and let me study the characteristic. Um, let's write dot dc v3 try just one let me run uh, yes I know because you have Increment one Uh, yes, you see the you see the characteristic of the you can see the characteristic of this uh, of this, but you have also to uh, let me open. Uh, Yes, you have to do this, minus 10, 10, 1, to have the, the, the positive cut when you start from the positive characteristic. That, that is going to be the same, because this value doesn't have any meaning. This is just the returning voltage. Oh, 
course it is. Of course it is not working. So by by also the reference here is also given. So the reference here is also given by the beta. So remember that you can design also the reference voltage here like uh, R1 over R1 plus R2 times V plus because this is uh, Oh, this is pointless. So this is also a way to see the characteristics. If you if you want to see also the the hysteresis, let me call this node out. Uh, no, if you put V out, then it is pointless. You have to put. Uh... Yes, it is correct V three. So I'm starting to question why I don't I don't see the. Let me check. So yeah, I'm I'm also checking if it is possible to see the I'm checking the old labs because there was a way to see the the, the characteristic by the way. But let's close the video like that.